What a beautiful planet of ours! With green mountains, clear water, fresh air, and warm sunshine, it is really the ideal home place and a paradise of mankind. However, today the human society is unfortunately still faced with harsh challenges, such as poverty, hunger, unemployment, and environment degradation, etc. With an aim to eradicate rural poverty and protect the forest resources, Professor Lin Jiangxi of China Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University started since 1983 the research on using wild grasses and cultivated herbaceous plants to replace broadleaf trees for cultivation of edible and medicinal mushrooms and he successfully invented the Dunzhao technology in 1986. This invention respectively won the Geneva State Prize during the 20th International Invention Exhibition and the prize of French Ministry of Interior and Land Planning in the 85th Paris International Invention Exhibition. In 1994, Dunzhao Technology was enlisted by the United Nations Development Program UNDP, as one of China's priority projects for cooperation with other developing countries. At present, 46 species of grass like Miscanthus floridulus, Dicranopteris dicotoma, Arundo donax, Nerodia reynodiana, and the Penicetum family have already been selected as main materials for cultivation of 55 kinds of edible and medicinal mushrooms such as Pleurotus ostriatus, Pleurotus eringi, Agaricus bisporus, Flamulina veluptipus, Auricularia spp, and Ganoderma lucidum, etc. Mushrooms can be processed into highly value-added tonic food products, and even the spent substrates, the residue, can still be processed into functional feed and feed additives. Those people who used to be migrant workers now can stay at home with good income. They don't need to leave village. Each farmer grows 1.3 HA lingzhi under rubber trees. For one season within five to six months, they can earn 8,000 USD. Some Dunzhao grass species are high quality forage themselves. For example, the giant Dunzhao grass contains 8 to 16 percent of crude protein and as much as 450 tons of fresh grass can be harvested under normal cases in one hectare of land, which are sufficient to feed 30 cattle or 300 sheep, and that helps greatly the herdsmen to dispose the feed shortage problems. Little grass makes me rich. You see, thanks to Prof Lin, otherwise how can I earn so much money? With the advantages of wide adaptability, fast growth, and developed root system. Dunzhao grass therefore has been applied on ecological management such as soil erosion control, desertification and saline alkali soil management, and ecological rehabilitation for abandoned mine exploration sites. Due to the quick vegetation restoration, high capacity of holding water and soil, and low investment, it effectively integrates the dual economic and ecological benefits. In China, the giant Junzhao grass as a pioneer plant was planted on the moving dunes along the Yellow River basins, and the sand was fixed after only 100 days. In Rwanda and Lesotho, Junzhao grass was applied for soil erosion control and both achieved significant results. Comparing with maize land, it reduced soil loss by more than 97% and reduced water loss by more than 80% respectively. In China, Junzhao technology has over the years been extensively applied for poverty alleviation and rural development and already becomes a new growth point for increased income for the farmers. Professor Lin Jiangxi was awarded honorary title as the champion of poverty alleviation in China.
in the arid desert of the Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region of China. He led teams of experts to give technical assistance to the rural population and enabled more than 17,500 households to bid farewell to poverty. And as a result, the farmer's average annual income grew from $80 in 1998 to $1,024 in 2007 in only 10 years. The Chinese government, for many years, enlisted Dunzhao Technology as economic aid projects for Papua New Guinea, Rwanda, Lesotho, Fiji and Eritrea, respectively. And we really appreciate what it's doing. So I think that it's going to bridge the gap between technology transfer, the technologies that are in China that we don't have here, the, the ways of, the, the means and ways that it's reaching farmers is also new. Chinese Dunzhao Technology Demonstration Centers and numerous Dunzhao Technology flagship sites were established as platforms for mobilizing and empowering those poor grassroot farmers who lacked land resources, mostly non-educated, without adequate skills, especially women and youths, to learn skills of Dunzhao Technology and engage them into the Dunzhao industry, which is of low investment with quick returns and high economic benefits. So they quickly increased their income and mostly lifted out of poverty and backwardness. When I produce like uh, six, 6,000, I have a, a profit of one million. Every day, we supply at least 50 kilos to our client. The price is uh, about uh, $2. China National Engineering Research Center of Dunzhao Technology has the honor to receive the visits of head of state from seven countries. Established Dunzhao Technology Demonstration Centers in eight countries and held 14 international symposiums on Dunzhao industry development. As entrusted by the Chinese government, the center has over the years organized 160 international training courses for 6,042 participants from 101 countries. 2010, to attend the international training course on Juntao technology, I went back home and impart the training to my community. So that's what motivated me to come for further studies, to do my master's in Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University. The Juntao technology also acted as a medium in promoting friendship between Fujian province of China and eastern highland province of Papua New Guinea and KwaZulu natal province of South Africa by establishing sister provinces' relations with them respectively. Today, Junzhao industry has become an emergent industry in some developing countries. I'm very happy because my wife has been in China and has been trained on uh, mushroom production. When he, she came back, she started the, this business and we tried to, to find a market, domestic market or outside of the country, uh, like Uganda, Burundi, Tanzania, uh, Congo Brazzaville. Uh, per month, we have at least uh, 3 million Rwandan francs uh, as pro, uh, net profit for farmers. For instance, after training, they can make easily uh, 200,000 Rwandan francs per month. That is a good salary. A number of entrepreneurs and researchers who have been trained and nurtured by the Chinese Dunzhao experts are now playing active and important roles in promoting the development of Dunzhao industry in their respective countries. I'm doing PhD in ecology. I had to make follow-up to make sure that this technology uh, is implemented in my country, Tanzania, and that was my wish. The, we are very grateful, thankful. Your technology is very important, useful, is helping Rwanda developing economically. Duintao technology originates from China and belongs to the whole of humanity. 
let us join hands with more efforts to build up a harmonious and beautiful, happy home for mankind. Asante Jintao. Jintao kwa wote. Thank you, Jintao. Jintao for all. Grow, Jintao, grow. Grow, Jintao, grow.